Back to weather we go. Cindy, the high today was not a very high one. No, it wasn't. Let's find out if David hit that three degree guarantee. Mm -hmm. Well, we did, <laughs> but uh, yeah, a couple of degrees off. We forecast 49. It made it up to 47. That was it, and it was a pretty cool one. And yeah, it looks small after yesterday, but $10. Got to start somewhere. We will hopefully wrap that up and have uh, well over $200 in it at the end of the month to give to you and to give to charity. You can register to win at local 3 News dot com slash three dash degree the forecast high for tomorrow not even that 46 degrees so cool and rainy all day tomorrow uh, right now it's 43 Chattanooga 39 Cleveland 31 in Altamont 39 degrees in Athens and just kind of a wrap up to January it was a warm one the warmest day that we had was January 3rd uh, temperatures range from 57 to a record breaking 72 the coldest day January 14th from 29 degrees in the morning to 42 in the afternoon and if you take all of the highs together and average them during the month it was 57.2 uh, but the average over history is 53.2. So we were warmer this January than the average January temperature. Uh, lows, same thing. 39.2 was the actual average. 35.3 the historical average. So we were well above that as well. And if you take all of that and average it together, basically we can boil it down to January with 6.5 degrees above normal. And we had an above normal December also. And February getting off to a cold start. Uh, we will be below this uh, starting out tomorrow. 53 degrees the average high on the first. 59 by the 28th. Average rainfall for February 5.03 inches. So let's get to the radar and you can can see rain showers in the valley, some of that heavy just south of Dayton. Meanwhile, switches over to a kind of a mix. You can see the rain in the Sequatchie Valley on the plateau. You can see more of a sleet and freezing rain scenario, but uh, surface road temperatures are above freezing, so I don't think you're going to have widespread icing on the roadways. Maybe some elevated surfaces like bridges, overpasses that aren't treated. We may have some issues, but overall it's not going to be a huge deal, but you do need to be extremely careful getting out and about overnight tonight and tomorrow. So future cash showing just rain, rain, rain moving in and that's going to continue to move through tomorrow morning. This is lunchtime on Thursday. This is two o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock. It's just going to be a rainy, rainy day. I will finally see all of that rain pushing out Thursday night into Friday morning as cool, dry air begins to settle in throughout the day Friday and it's going to stay cold heading into Saturday and dry as well. Dry weekend ahead also uh, about three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain possible, maybe slightly higher amounts to our south, uh, but about a quarter, three quarters of an inch to an inch is a pretty good bet. Overcast this evening. Now that's changing over to the rain beginning to return overnight, dropping down to 41 in Chattanooga, 39 in Cleveland. And then tomorrow uh, rain, it'll be heavy at times, chilly all day long, 46 degrees, the high in Chattanooga, 44 Cleveland and 47 in Murphy, 41 on the plateau. Storm alert 7 day forecast, 100% rain chance. We take the rain out, have cold weather settling in. Look at that 27 in the morning on Saturday and then Sunday into Monday and Tuesday, a nice warming trend, 58, 61, 64 with no rain still in the 60s and then showers return on Wednesday, guys.